For once, like it is crazy. We never stay in town for spring break. So I decided to be the responsible parent and um, do some appointments for him. Down. No, sir. Decided to be the responsible parent and do some appointments and um, just take care of things that we need to take care of. So we actually have a long to-do list. We need to go to the dentist. He has a dentist appointment. We need to um, get his hair cut. We need to buy our friend a gift because we have a birthday party on Saturday. We also, this looks crooked. Here we go again. Um, we also need to go look at the venue for his birthday because we're doing it somewhere different this year because the other place was not available. I'm just packing his bag. We're taking the big backpack because we have a full day. And so I have like lots of change of clothes. I have his potty chair um, and like it's just a foldable potty one and i also have some clorox wipes in here so that we can clean everything we have a cup in the fridge our ipad i think we're good to go his appointment's not till 10 30 but i want to run by hit one of the stores before we go so right after that we can go do his haircut so potty training update we are still potty training um i get really weird like some people say like Oh, my kids started wearing undies and they've been dry all day. Okay, they're officially potty trained. We're not going back to diapers. I don't really know if that means you're potty trained. Um, oh, why is this out? I don't necessarily tell people, oh yeah, he's potty trained because we've still been having accidents. He had, one day he um, pooped on himself at daycare. He never poops on himself, so it was really weird. And then he's had a couple of potty accidents while we've been in the car. I like don't consider him potty trained until we stop having accidents but then my mom was like he's not gonna just stop having accidents the kids have accidents so I guess we're potty trained I don't know I think it's been it's been like a little over a month I mean he's completely in undies all the time even during nap time the only time he's in a pull up is at night and even then he's been waking up in the middle of the night wanting to go to the potty and then if he's peed in that pull up he wants it off so I guess we're potty trained I don't know I'm gonna keep updating y'all because the one thing he will not do is just take himself to the bathroom so that's still our goal like if he feels the need to go potty I want him to just go I try to leave the bathroom door open so he will just go um but normally he'll say i potty and then i have to walk him and sit with him and wait till he finishes so yeah anyways we're about to head out he's getting restless and getting all into my cabinet so let me wrap this up sir what are you doing can you get your ipad and i'll get your cup Come on. I'm gonna switch over vlogging to my phone so that I don't have to worry about this camera while we're out all day. I do want to get a new camera. I have been seeing that DGI Pocket 3, I think it's called. I have been wanting that because it's so compact, so little. I can just throw it in his backpack or throw it in my purse. Um, and just, it's like so like petite looking. So my goal is to buy me one of those. That's actually one of the things, like one of the parts of the categories where I was like, I want to save up for something, a certain amount, it's that. I want the creator kit, so yeah.
Here, come get your cup. Here. Flush. Really? You don't have to stare at it. Okay, let's wash your hands. Uh oh, get your sticker. You got your bag and your sticker? Here, you want your bag? No? No bag? Okay. I need to carry it off. Car. Oh, your car. Okay, got it. <laughs> Alright, so we have completed the dentist. We have completed the barbershop. I am at my mom's because her house is actually right, like, five minutes away from the barbershop but we're gonna do a quick wardrobe change he has extra clothes over here because he has hair all over him i feel like i have hair all over me um because he would not sit still it was it was rough okay see your hair cut let me see turn whoa looks nice y'all i feel like i've been in the fight of my life this morning between the dentist's office and the barbershop like i had to hold him at both locations basically had to like hold him still <sighs> dentist went well though it didn't take long she cleaned his teeth looked at his teeth no cavities said teeth look good so that was good i'm currently eating some leftovers i made spaghetti last night and my mom brought some over um and she and my grandma and Cole ate on it last night. And so we're over here doing a lunch break. So we're eating some spaghetti before we continue our day. And we're waiting on my mom. Because she went to get her nails done. Um, while we ran our errands this morning. And then we're going to go look at the building where we're going to do the birthday party together. And do some party planning. We kind of sat down last night and talked about like games. And like the theme and decor. And then I'm going to decide on food and like party favors and stuff. Can you not eat with your hands? Can you not do that? He makes spaghetti a very not fun meal to serve. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we have a full rest of the day. I have a feeling he's going to get tired um, by the time we make it to the mall. That is quite all right because I have the stroller. And he can go to sleep all he wants. I had to pee at the barber shop. <laughs> But I didn't take his backpack in because I was like, he just peed. Surely he won't need to pee again. So I had to hold him like up and let him pee standing up while holding him. Not a fun adventure. Not a fun adventure. I do not want to get out of this car because I know the minute I move him, he's going to wake up. And he has barely been napping for like 45 minutes. Like barely. Like he woke up and then he went back to sleep. And I'm like, Lord, if I move him. But I literally just turned the car off and I'm already hot. So we got to get out of here. Okay, y'all. I am back home. I look like I have been through because <laughs> I have been through. I'm so tired. And I really wanted to nap. But I feel like I need to just get some stuff done while he's sleeping he's actually sleep in the living room and i'm hiding in my closet so that i can get some stuff done <laughs> because time is precious around here so i want to get some work done but i also wanted to get some like party planning prep done we went and looked at the space and it's like big but it's not as big as the space we had last year like the space we had last year was really big um because it was a gym this is an auditorium but it's still kind of with a lot of space but the shape of the building is really weird so so i brought my uh notebook so i could draw it out a trapezoid like room but the back end is rounded and so we're trying to decide like where we want to set certain stuff up and i told my mom we needed to block off the stairs to the stage because there is a stage since it's an auditorium but we don't want them up there so i'm thinking of putting like a big bouncer 
like a big one and a small one because what we did last year was we had a big bouncer a small bouncer and his trampoline to have a variety for different ages um i found a construction jumper only problem is is it's like just a bouncer like there's no slide and last year we had like a slide with it but they also didn't bring a mat and so i had to like do a makeshift mat so that the kids wouldn't like slide down too hard and hurt themselves and honestly i keep saying a big jumper for bigger kids but my party is for two three and four year olds like if you bring a kid older yes i want them to have fun but my focus is not on those kids so low-key i kind of don't care if they don't enjoy the jumper because it's my money and the party's not for them it is for three four and five year olds um and some two-year-olds so you don't want to like forget the kid whose party it's for to accommodate siblings like they know it's a two-year-old party in my mind but i do want the kids to have some fun but what i think i'm gonna have to do is i have a bunch of stuff saved on um amazon as far as like goodie bags and stuff like that that i want to go ahead and order so that i can see it and make sure i like it because you can always send it back right so i think i'm gonna order some stuff here in a little bit um like party favors and stuff like that like i found the hard hats and um tablecloth stuff like that that i want but I, I also need to start with like setting a budget because if i don't give myself a budget i will just spend and we we not about that life um so yeah we got the space from one to six because that includes setup and breakdown because you also have to include that time in there it's the only thing i don't like about this place because the church I got to just set it up throughout the week like how I want it because they weren't using the gym where um, we had the party and so I just got to set it up how I felt like it. Oh but anyways let me recap y'all on our adventure out. So we did stop by the Dollar Tree they didn't have what we needed so we left. I had to go to the ATM and to the barbershop. I had to go to the ATM before the barbershop so I could have cash and then we went to the dentist the barbershop. We went and looked at the space and we did find one toy some cash in my pocket from the ATM we did find one toy but it wasn't the toy we want like he wants an excavator and my son has one so I need to look at the one in his room so I can see what that one is because I know that's what he wants and probably go back to Walmart another day before the party um and get him the excavator but I did find him like a DIY like you put it together and make it into different ones but it's smaller um so yeah we need to go back and find that gift um but we did do that and then we stopped and ate lunch at my mom's and then we just kind of took a break we hung with my mom for a little bit because my grandma's in town um which we're supposed to go to church tonight and hear her speak so yeah we did that for a little bit and now we're home so i want to do a little bit of party prep a little bit of work and then we're gonna head out and get ready for church i don't even know what time church is i think it's at 7 30 7 7 or 7 30 i don't know so anyways, yeah, so I know I want like the construction hats and like the construction vest and I'm going to like, hang it and have it ready for them. But there's a set that has like the party favor bags, but I don't particularly like these bags. And then they have like the little cone cups that I thought was so cute. I don't know. I did start like a Pinterest board for inspiration and then I also have a running list in my phone for the construction party so we already did the invitations but i need to change the location and then get those printed i need to decide on food last year i think we had pizza and some sort of like chicken spaghetti somebody made i don't know i think i want to do more finger foods this time because i'm not it's not a meal i'm not trying to like fill you up and most of the times parents of two and three year olds they don't eat a whole lot because they're chasing after their kids so I do want to have a snack table and one of the main snacks that I thought was cute that I want to try to make which Lord Jesus is the Rice crispy Treat like paint brushes. I saw that idea. I thought it was so cute and then dirt cups. I saw that thought that was cute. Of course cake and cupcakes um, and then decor and party favors. I think I'm just going to do like a bunch of balloons and just a bunch of like the construction hanging things like I had all these little inspo pictures that were perfect. Um, I want to do like for like I kind of want to have like stations so that it's like organized play and nothing just running so I kind of want to have blocks at one station and just different things like that like I'm still navigating it and working it out so 
definitely check back with us because I'm going to do like a a whole video dedicated to this party planning um, I think I did one last year for his baby shark party it turned out so good like it was so much fun but I started so late so that's why I'm starting early this year um but yeah get a little work done do a little ordering all that good stuff <laughs> Marker. No, you got your own marker. Okay. You got your own markers. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. You see me? Whoa! Mommy? Yeah, you see me? Hey! Hey! Okay, I'm like half done, so excuse me. This is why I get dressed while he's asleep on Sunday mornings or like during the week I get up so early because this is what happens. I gave him his iPad praying that he would sit down. I gave him a toy praying that he would sit down. None of those things happens. He does not sit. Look at this. How did you flip that? Pray for me, y'all.